Alrighty, what are we gonna try today? I guess we'll try her. I should do time mode though. We'll we'll try this. Oh. <clears throat> Uh, let's see. I'll take that. What do her skills do? If any attack hits more than four times or four targets, every fourth hit will deal two times damage. Targets within 75 pixels move slower by 10% and takes 50% damage every second. If the target has less than 20% HP, there's a 20% chance to be converted into a harmless Takodachi. Summon AO every 5 seconds, create a zone with a 25% chance to convert targets into harmless Takodachis. Harmless Takodachis can stack with other harmless. Touching a harmless will heal for 1 HP per stack and deal damage based on the size. Okay. I don't know what exactly a harmless takodachi is or what it looks like, but oh, okay, it's the little guys. Okay, with the halos. Interesting. with the plug. Oh, and it's just a spin to win. Okay, that's cool. the range of that. There we go. Um, we'll make the time to pull a bit better. Oh, okay, the big one was, uh, thing. Cool. Uh, we'll increase the flood. So you just need stuff that does multiple hits, is what it seems like. Oh, that's a sticker. That's another one. attack size? Sure, why not? Uh, I do like fan beam. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Reduce time between attacks? Absolutely. I wish there was more of an indicator that 
they were friendly, because I think there are random enemies on certain stages that look like the the harmless dudes. Could be wrong, but you know. I don't want to lose coins. I do want a chance to negate hits, though. Spider cooking we can work with. Increase that. Oh no. This is just shredding through bosses. I dig it completely. Better headphones? Absolutely. Uh, I will take a revive. Because I have tried this a couple of times and it failed every time. Spider cooking. Uh, mm, yeah, we'll we'll take the piggy bank. Try and get some coinage from this. Might as well. would be pretty good because it does technically hit multiple times or it can chain Improve the fan beam a little bit. Here we go. spider cooking. <coughs> uh, well, all of these are just new choices. Okay. We'll do the glow stick. I like glow stick.
It's more spider cooking. Time for another boss. Shred through all these enemies. Oh jeez, I'm taking a lot of damage. to reduce my special cooldown because it comes up whenever there's a new big guy. Uh, yeah. More beans. Well, okay. The special comes up a little bit after the boss does. Because I kind of screwed up the the cooldown timing of it. But same thing. You know what I meant. Oh, jeez. Um... Almost brought all the enemies down though, so. Nice. Uh, doo -doo -doo. More plugs. I know what I said. I don't really want to look at the the wiki or whatever has all the info on the game uh, to find all the collabs because I kind of want to find all that out on my own. You know, maybe if there's, you know, like... Oh god, I'm almost dead. Uh, maybe it's like, I'm almost almost beaten everything in the game, and if there's one, like, really simple one that I haven't noticed that I haven't done, then yeah, maybe I'll look at it. But for the most part, I just kind of want to just figure everything out on my own. Jesus. You know, maybe getting the piggy bank on this stage wasn't the best idea, because I'm not really getting that much coinage. Oh. oh. I did not mean to hit a retry. Uh. Huh. Interesting. I guess there's only one stage for that. Okay. Well, that was fun. Uh. And do some character gotchas. Uh huh. You've got a hammer. You've got a gun. Interesting. I'll give you a try. And we'll try this. Oh, I'm out of tempura.
Yee, I know you're all exhausted. I don't have any clownfish. I do have some potatoes, though. Alright. Someone recommended that I get the better fishing rod for another cooking thing, so... How much do I need? 15,000. So what fish... Oh, I can press start to interact. Okay. I... Did I catch 10? Okay, hold on. Uh, here we go. So there's two new fish I can catch. That's eel. Pufferfish. I think it was something with pufferfish. We'll find out though. This is a weird pond, having all these creatures in it. Oh, thank you. Uh, attack speed per? And max HP per hit. That sounds pretty good. So I need an onion and radish. Oh, I will be fishing for a while. This might just be the fishing episode. What? How did I miss? This is catching a lot of fish. Come on. There we go. Okay. 
and probably water those again. Yeah. And you want clownfish. I should probably buy some more potatoes to feed the guy. Oh, and probably uh, plant those peppers. Fishing is all about patience. There we go. Hey, more puffer fish. Water all these again. Oh, and it's done. Cool. That's not done, though. So... How much does the next rod cost? 50,000! Guess I just got a lot of fishing to do. Women fear me. Fish fear me. Everyone fears me. My eyes get all weird with the rhythm game stuff, I just, even if it's moving slowly, I just can't track it that well. Manta Ray say, oh that thing looks large. Manta Ray soup gained one extra life. That's pretty nice. Oh god, I hope I get two radishes from growing it. Probably should have done more. 
Okay, cool. I got three. Uh, oh, PR is probably pickup range. I got there. All right. Well, we'll cook it. You're exhausted already? How about that? Alright, I'm manager level one? What happens when I get to two? Um... I kind of... What characters am I missing? I'm missing one on this ray... this row. Good lord. I think I'm missing... Some from here. Hmm. All right. Well, I want to try you, and we might as well just uh, try out this new stage. Um. Very precise weapon. But it seems fierce, so that's pretty nice. Oh god. Um, critical hits, non-melee attacks. I'm busy. So, I don't know that number. On critical hits, non-melee attacks have a 15% chance to hit 50% additional experience out of non-boss targets. Ooh. All moving crit is increased by 5%. If Zeta is invisible, increase crit by a further 5%. Gain above that allows Zeta to dodge the next hit. 20 second cooldown on dodge. Zeta turns invisible for 4 seconds. All damage dealt is increased by 30% anytime Zeta is invisible. Neat. <clears throat> oh, I get it. Okay, I definitely need to get the, the invisibility. So she wants crit and uh, non-melee attacks. <clears throat> I'll take the curse. That's what that means. Okay. That's cool. I like that. These just die already. Jeez. Okay, I, I, I dig this character. Yeah, we'll take the researcher's coat. Oh man. Yeah, yeah, this this is nice. This this works. On critical hit oh right, right, right. I have that already. Um yeah, we'll we'll do that. I like when I see that uh, curse just bouncing around a bunch. Three shots, you say? Oh, 
Oh. A bad idea to run around the table. I need to... Uh... Find a better area to make, like, the main area that I hide out in. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Perfect. Ooh. Some bullet hits the enemy, the damage increases by 10% up to 100. Ooh. Yeah, I'll take the axe. <coughs> oh, I can move through the chairs. Okay. I don't know why I thought I couldn't. Okay, yeah, I definitely need to just get out of here. Although it kind of seems like every area here is just kind of... Uh, what's the word? Makes it difficult to move around. Claustrophobic. Well, we'll go with that. Yeah, we'll take the study glasses. I don't really know if there is a good area to hide out in. <laughs> I think this is the most wide open area. Oh man, my nose is itchy again. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Oh god. God damn. This stage is hard! I'm just getting my ass handed to me, but, I don't know, we'll do better next time, I guess. Uh... Those are both probably really good things to have. Um... Huh. Yeah, I don't really want to mess with any of those. Okay. Well, I think that's good. So yeah, have a good one. <laughs>